everyone, it's that prototype once again, and today we are covering the end portal. The end portal can be found in dungeons or in creative mode you can create it. As you can see, this is a full end portal that's activated, and I'll show you what happens when you go into it. It actually messes my eyes a little bit <laughs> because it's kind of 3D-ish. It's in the middle, it's it's nothing like the rest of the game. But I will show you how to make one using what is often, it looks similar to this with lava underneath of some stairs and the dungeons. And usually there's mm, three or four slots open with the rest with the Eye of Ender. But I will show you now how to make the Eye of Ender because it's absolutely needed. This is an end game object for sure. So. What this is, is a blaze powder, and you need to get a blaze rod from the blazes in the nether, which usually drop one to two uh, blaze rods when you kill them, and when you put this into your inventory, it will show up with two blaze powders. You take the blaze powder, and use an end pearl, which you get from Enderman, combine that, and it creates the Eye of Ender. You can also right click and well it's not showing because I'm in the creative mode right click and it'll throw it to show you where there is a close dungeon <laughs> which um, makes it easier to find the end portal so let's just right click and this is what happens and then you jump through it takes a minute to load Ah, so it spawned me what looks like, <laughs> really, <laughs> it spawned me off the land onto, and you hear the end dragon, which eventually we'll cover specifically, uh, onto that, but since I can fly, I'm in creative mode, this is the end, with the end towers, with the end crystals that you need to destroy to kill the, um, the uh, Ender Dragon, and that is where I will leave off. <laughs> but yeah, you can find more Endermen here and some other nifty shit that I'll show you eventually. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.